Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are a subscriber and if you are brand new, hello and welcome. My name is MJ and this is my channel called Reading This Life. And in this video, we are going to look back at everything that I read for the first week of Horror Mayhem 2022. So as you may or may not know, Horror Mayhem was created by the channel The Bookish Bryants. I will leave a link to their um, announcement video below. There are a number of co-hosts that are floating around um, giving recommendations and suggestions and things like that. So the first week of Horror Mayhem is Supernatural. So um, creatures, um, demons, uh, you know, anything that has to do with the snow. Is it supernatural? Yes, it is supernatural. I always think paranormal. It's not supernatural. And before we get started, remember to like this video, comment down below. Are you participating in horror mayhem? Have you read any horror? Are you scared of horror? Do you want to tiptoe back into the genre? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you keep coming back, maybe you should subscribe. Okay, so the first book that I read, I actually started and finished on May 1st, which you know is massive for me because my schedule is so tight, I have to find time to read. So um, I read this, and this is The Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker. We read this as a part of Criminali's book, no, birth year book tag. This is the month um, for this particular book, which fit into horror mayhem perfectly. Um, it's 163 pages tore through it. I actually read this and then I went on line to um, the app Tubi. They have a lot of great horror movies, but they have all the Hellraiser movies. So I watched the first one after I read the book. I will say I enjoyed the book better. Um, I really do like Clive Barker's writing style. It's super descriptive, but just enough. Like when he starts talking about the Cenobites, he doesn't give you a lot of descriptive information, just enough. Um, and it still makes, you know, quite the impact. Um, yeah, the character development, I, I like the backstory, was featured a little more um, in the book as it should be than in the movie. So I actually, yeah, I enjoyed the book better than the movie, but the movie was still good because, um, you know, whoever plays Pinhead is just aces. So I absolutely recommend The Hellbound Heart if you are interested in something different, if you are comfortable with horror and you wanna get a little deeper in. Um, but Clive Barker, really, I, I do enjoy his writing style very much, so I recommend it. And the second book that I read was by Sarah Gran, and it is The Book of the Most Precious Substance. I did a full review, I'll post a card here. That book was just amazing. It has mystery, it has um, occultism, it has a love story, it is very spicy. Um, and there is a twist. There is a great ending to it. That book gripped me from page one um, up until the end. I tore through that book and I absolutely loved it. It is spicy, so, um, but the background story of the characters, um, evens it out, I think. So just to give you a little bit, it's about a um, antiquarian book dealer bookseller. She hooks up with another antiquarian um, book dealer bookseller that she knows. They have a, a client that's willing to pay $2 million for this certain book. It is a, a magical book, it's esoteric. Um, and they go on a hunt to find the one true copy. So they travel all around the world and their experiences and there's a little bit of a love story in there. Um, there's a little bit of mystery and murder and um, just, it's just a good read. It's just a good read if you're okay with a little spicy because it is spicy. 
Okay. Um, but that I finished and I gave that one five stars. And also I gave the Hellbound Heart five stars. So we are on a roll with um, Horror Mayhem. Hey everyone, so the magic of editing and filming. Um, I actually just finished my next book. Yesterday I started Come Closer by Sarah Graham, who is the author of um, The Book of the Most Precious Substance. Uh, and it was good, it was good. So Come Closer came out a number of years ago. Um, it is a possession type novel. I wouldn't even call it possession. I would call it attachment. Um, it, it was good. I expect, I went into it thinking it was going to be a little more exorcism-y, a little more demonic. This is a very subtle possession novel. Um, so again, if you are interested in tiptoeing into the horror genre, this sounded worse than what it is. Story is great. Um, it's subtle and it hits you where it needs to hit you. Um, it is, um, focuses on Amanda and Ed. They are a couple. Um, Amanda starts coming down with um, visions and dreams and, and hearing things in, in the house. And there is an entity that is trying to um, lure her in and take over some of her faculties. So I will leave it at that. And it, it just shows a transition of how this entity is impacting her life and the decisions that she's making, which really is um, you know, the focal point of the book. So it was good. Um, but like I said, I'm a little bit underwhelmed with it, a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Um, but I thought it was good. <laughs> so I would give Come Closer four out of five stars. Four out of five stars, I think that's fair. But yeah, absolutely, recommend it. Um, and again, it's not scary. It's not, you know, vomit on the wall and head spinning and all that kind of stuff. This is real life attachment, which is actually more scarier than the Hollywood version of uh, an exorcism. Okay, and I'm also, uh, I dove in last week to Moon Dance, this chunker. Um, I got through only 55 pages. I'm gonna tackle some of this tonight. My short story collection, I actually opened it up and I opened it up to a Lovecraft story. So I think that book, the one from 1968 um, that I announced or that I showed in my um, What Am I Gonna Read for Horror Mayhem Month, um, I am going to have that throughout um, the month because I think it's, it's more than just supernatural. I think there are um, a number of stories in there that I can use to fit in different weeks. So that is gonna be continuing. Um, and I'm enjoying Moon Dance. This really is um, uh, a chunk and it starts out um, in modern day and then it takes you back in time. So that's where we are now. And this week coming up for Horror Mayhem is Gothic Week. So on my channel here, we, a bunch of other fellow booktubers and myself have agreed to all read The Picture of Dorian Gray. We are starting this as of Sunday. It's read at your own pace. You can read it during the month of May, but there's a lot of us that are going to start reading it Sunday. It is 245, no, 200, and it's 245 pages, um, which is under the 250 that the Bookish Bryants kind of recommended because they want to keep it... Um, uh, the uh, novels or novellas short and, you know, just be able to move with them. Not like this chunker that's going to take me a whole month. Um, so yeah, so there are a number of us that are going to be reading and reviewing this. If you are interested in reading The Picture of Dorian Gray, feel free um, to join us. And I have a Discord set up and all the information is linked in my description box. 
Um, you do not have to have a YouTube channel. You can just be a subscriber if you are interested in joining us to read The Picture of Dorian Gray. I'm looking forward to it. So this is gonna be book number one for the week. And then, my best friend got me a belated birthday present. And this is O Caldonia by Elspeth Barker. I don't know anything about this. She said it could fit into Gothic Week, so I am going through with it. Um, so this blurb on the back really caught my attention. Funny, surprising, exquisitely written and brilliant on the smelly, absurd, harsh busyness of growing up. The Bronte sisters and Poe via Dodie Smith and Edward Gorey. I'm all about that. So um, this will be interesting and I'm hoping that it is going to fit into Gothic Week. So if you've read this, comment down below and let me know, I'd be interested to find out. Okay, so those are the two books that I am reading for this week in addition to Moon Dance and my little short story collection. Um, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I hope everyone is doing well. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I will see you for my Gothic Week wrap up next week. All right. Um, take care for now. Goodbye for now.